if you could call the 21 year old young lady back in Romania and tell her anything now based on what you've learned, what would you say? I would probably tell her that whatever happens, you'll be just fine. Based on some experiences you've gone through? Well, it, it hasn't been hard. Like I like to laugh about things and only emphasize um, the, the, the good things now, but it, it wasn't easy. The last seven years, it, it, it was um, ugh. not just being in a, in a new country with just my daughter and working it out, but then working towards something that only I could see happening it was, it was an image just in my head. Like I wanted to do something like this and I quit my Microsoft job. I quit my life in Romania just to chase something that was really only very clear in my head. Nobody else was seeing. My parents weren't seeing, my friends weren't seeing, um, my, my partner was, wasn't seeing it. So everybody kind of dropped off along the way and I kept going alone. I'm like, I'm just gonna do it. So um, I guess, mm -hmm. Probably another piece of advice for, for people who are pursuing um, something that they feel is not happening is we are not, we don't deserve the things yet. So we, we, we need to build the skill set, the experience, and go through the whole process to actually deserve the life that we want to have, mm. have the business that we have, um, have the family that we have. We just don't deserve it. We always look uh, and find excuses around not having it. Um, but, you know, the, the easiest person to fool is usually ourselves. We just keep mm. on telling ourselves these, um, these stories that I can't do it. It's not, it's not going to happen. It's not happening. But we really haven't earned the right to have the life that we want to have mm. until mm. we have. Mm. I hope that mm. makes that's a, sense. That's a good message, Liz. No, it's yeah, it's great. That's really great stuff. Well, do you want to? Was there was there a few dark moments in there where you're you're laying in bed at night saying to yourself, "What the hell am I doing? This I'm not sure this is going to work." You're waking up at three a.m. in the morning and panicked. <laughs> there were dark moments um, that were coming from my personal life. Uh, I struggled with insomnia for many many months. Uh, my grandma died back in Romania and that mm. really knocked me off. So mm. I struggled in terms of physical, like my, my body just couldn't handle all mm. of the stuff, mm. but not in terms of um, business failure because I kept failing at stuff. And, and the second I failed, I had the next uh, idea, the next best thing in my mind and already rolling with it. Mm. I love that part about you quitting the Microsoft job. I can just almost visualize you know, you, you, people weren't believing, right? You, your, your, your folks are doubting you. Your friend at the coffee shop is telling, is saying, what the hell are you doing? Why are you quitting the Microsoft job? You shouldn't do that. And you're, you know, you're, and that, you're that had been actually probably my, my biggest accomplishment in terms of um, my career, because mm. when I decided to go into the Microsoft space, <clears throat> everybody was telling me there is no way, <clears throat> excuse me, there is no way you're going to get in. You don't have the experience and you have no certifications and is, there's no way you're going to get into this space. And you got it. You got it. <laughs> well, you as a recruiter might appreciate how I got it. <laughs> um, oh, tell me, tell me. I think I spent about a month DMing on LinkedIn every single Microsoft partner, um, companies that we used Microsoft <laughs> products. And I had this like speech where I was telling like, this is what I've done. I've worked with ERP systems before. Um, I will work for free. Just give me a chance. Wow. Wow. And like after, I don't know how many hundred messages, um, <laughs> this guy from, from, from Sydney, David, my, my former boss, gets back to me and he's like, can you do this? And he sends me a link with a new system Microsoft had just released. So I had a look okay. at it. I had a look at the release date. I'm like, well, nobody really knows how to do this. So yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> so so good. that was it. I, you know, I always love it when I meet salespeople. Uh, we touched on this earlier. I'll meet a salesperson and I'll say, well, how many calls did you make today? Well, I made three calls and I sent a couple of emails. <laughs> yeah. 
you know, you this is not even close, right? What another great lesson for the listeners, DMing, DMing people for a month to get into Microsoft. Wow, that's a good story. I like that. I like that. Yeah. You know, like uh, Grant Cardone does say in one of his courses, you have to be unreasonable. Unreason- unreasonable. You heard that right. <laughs> <laughs> when you follow up and you prosper, just be unreasonable. <laughs> be unreasonable. I love it. No, that's so good. That's so good. Last question. I know we're almost out of time. If you had to put your core purpose in life into a sentence or two, kind of defining Liz's core purpose, why she's walking around on, on planet Earth beyond taking care of your daughter, which kind of the special core purpose let's set that aside beyond your daughter what is what is liz's core purpose freedom i i cannot stand not being free or being told what to do (laughs) so i i need to be like whoever accepts me needs to accept the fact that i need to have a hundred percent control over what i do i need to be free not I, and I think Confined. this, yes, yes, um, <clears throat> just because I have my own mind and um, yeah, it's, it's not easy to deal with me sometimes. I know that. <laughs> oh, well, your next, I, okay, I, so, so, so your next uh, partner in your personal life needs to be prepared. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he needs to be prepared. <laughs> That's probably one of the aspects that doesn't, hasn't really worked out. Um <laughs> Well, something's something's gotta give, right? <laughs> <laughs>